I'm pretty sure that you're thinking right now, why in the name of Alfred our uncle Bats is talking to us? And the reason is because I care about you, I really do, and to prove it, and because Christmas day is very nearby, I bring you a very very special guest. Tell me who haven't dreamed of becoming one of our favorite characters, well, cosplay allow us to do that and join the fantasy to say yes we can. There are a lot of cosplayers in the world right now, a lot of them, but only a few have that little something that makes them stand out of the rest, and this lady is definitely one of them. Please welcome one of the best cosplayers I have ever seen in my life, Miss Start Night Cherry Cosplay. Hello everyone, hello Batsy, thank you for inviting me in your channel. Mrs. Stardnight, it's really my pleasure to have you with us here today. Like I said before, you have something that shines in you, miss. But the real question is, who is the lady on the Mrs. Stardnight cosplay? Okay, my name is Anita and I'm 31 and I live in Italy. I am quite an average uh, girl who loves anime, manga and video games and that's it. And of course, I love sewing and making costumes. I guess this is one of the most frequent questions you have to answer, but since when and how you start into the world of cosplay? Uh, I started in 2010, but uh, I got more serious only in the last two years. But let me make this clear. Uh, cosplay is not a job for me, it's a hobby. I don't think there is nothing wrong in making a hobby into your job, but that's not my case. I just to do it for fun. From probably one of the best Kitanas I have ever seen, which by the way can give me a fatality any day of the week, to a very sexy Desert Sorcerer from Dark Souls 2. How Start Night choose the characters you want to portray? Well, sometimes it's because I love the character itself. For example, uh, Kitana, I loved her since I was 8 years old. And uh, I did this version because I was in a group with another girl or from Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, other time is because I love the outfit or a co of the costumes or because the costume itself may be a challenge for me, like using new materials and stuff. Uh, but in that case, I always get informed about the character's history before making the costume, because I want to interpret the character as the best that I can. What would you say is the most difficult aspect of cosplaying? The war in concrete you need to do, the materials for accomplishing an outfit, or maybe, I don't know, the money for doing them. Well, all that you say is very important, especially money, because uh, you really need a certain budget to do a quality costume. So, you can do Greek costumes even with a low budget, but for big projects uh, you really need to have a budget and some money and it's a very expensive hobby I won't lie uh, but the most difficult aspects for me is to act like a character because uh, these uh, characters all have their personal history and they are usually very complicated uh, histories uh, with difficult backgrounds uh, so, yes, interpreting uh, characters is very difficult. 
it becomes exhausted at some point. Mm, no, I never get tired of cosplay. Um, I was doing theater before for five or six years and I really love to sew costumes and do props so I just um, bring that into cosplay and went for my own uh, career, <laughs> let's say, uh, doing my own costumes and my own props for my uh, cosplays and I really like it, I never get tired of creating. When you throw the name of an independent, brave, and ass kicker female character, I'm all in. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that I'm the kind of guy who likes to be submitted. How much of this Mrs. Startney shares with her creations? Talking about being an ass kicker woman. Well, I don't quite feel a nice kicking woman. Uh, but I think. And yeah, I, I think I'm a strong person and also my friends agree, um, but I don't feel like the characters I portray. <laughs> I have some features uh, in common, of course. Uh, for example, this autumn I absolutely wanted to do a female version of Liquid Snake because I feel I have a lot in common with him. Okay, I don't want to destroy the world with a nuclear weapon, I swear. <laughs> but I'm very, very, very stubborn like he is, so I'm like, never be game over, or it's not over yet. <laughs> and I, I really never give up on the things I'm doing, and I'm always very stubborn when I'm stuck into a problem and I keep going on and on and on with the sometimes with the same strategy and I get stuck and I get angry so <laughs> in this way I'm very similar to him <laughs> it is funnier to portray a bad girl or a good girl um, I've been portraying good girls for a very 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 long time and I used to prefer that but I I portrayed uh, some bad girls in 2016. I don't know why, maybe because you know it's 2016 and very difficult year, so I need it to be bad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with these bad and strong characters, so now I think they will be part of my cosplay routine also for next years. What was the first convention you attempted? Do you remember the experience that it was? And do you have any kind of funny story for us? Uh, well, my first convention was Luca Comics, uh, the biggest convention in Italy in 2010. And I was wearing a costume I sewed by myself uh, that is a bold version uh, of uh, Princess Bloom from Wings Club. <laughs> Very it was supposed to be a very beautiful costume, but it was horrible, in fact. <laughs> I was super happy at the time, but uh, now uh, looking at the pictures, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell I was wearing? <laughs> but, I mean, we all start from the basement, so uh, I'm happy for that experience, and I'm happy I got better and better and I'm sure I still have a very long way to go to become better and better and better. Anyone may say that photo shoot is nothing to be afraid about. After all, taking pictures nowadays is a daily common stuff, right? But of course, I bet my money is not even close to be that simple. How did you feel the first time you really modeled to a camera? Um. I don't remember exactly the first time uh, I did the photo shootings, uh, but I'm a very shy person, especially with new experiences. So I guess uh, <laughs> it was, uh, well, probably I was scared. But now photo shootings are really fun for me. I really love photo shootings more maybe than going with the uh, actual convention with the costumes uh, but photo shootings are also very tiring believe me because sometimes you have to pose for a very long long time you have to wake up very soon for uh, the right lights 
and sometimes you are out and it's very cold or you have to go on cold water or on rocks uh, <laughs> and it's really it gets really uncomfortable at some points but i really love doing photo shootings it was the same when you make a session with lingerie or being nude being nude <laughs> I want to die in the ring, I want some bracelets and everything. Daddy, you better get the best for me. Hey, Daddy, when I look so I want the Empire State in Frisco, Golden Gate. You better get the best for me. Here's the amazing revelate. I kind of think that I'm going to be shooting me. Ah, uh, well... Uh, telling you that it was the same thing would be a lie. Uh, now I really feel it is also with this kind of photo shootings, but of course at the beginning uh, it was yeah it was different. I've always loved uh, nude and lingerie photo shootings, and that's why I wanted to try it myself. Uh, it's a normal photo shooting, you just have to go over the idea that oh my god I'm in lingerie or I'm naked. <laughs> it's just okay you and the camera and the photographer and maybe your friend and they can be a lot of fun too. Haters, at any point until now have you need to deal with this childish behavior? And if you do, how do you deal with it? Uh, yes, of course. Unfortunately, I had to deal with haters and uh, some years ago I used to get mad uh, and answer them and create discussions, but now I absolutely ignore these people. I mean, they don't uh, need my time and attention. I just block, cancel and ignore and that's it. I don't want to get involved. For some quick questions here, what would be the country would you like to be invited to as a cosplayer? Because definitely Mexico needs to be one of them. Well, I'd love to come to Mexico for a convention or even as a tourist because I think you have a great culture and I would really love to visit Mexico. So why not? I've never been invited outside Italy. Uh, also because I have a job so it's difficult to cope with convention and uh, going abroad etc but yes I would really love that <laughs> so maybe in the future who knows and your favorite TV show for TV shows well <laughs> when I go to bed I like to watch uh, crime shows and I really like uh, programs about the serial killers. Okay, I'm not crazy, I swear. I love unicorns and alpacas and stuff, but I also love serial killers because I'm very interested on how the human uh, mind works uh, when you go crazy and start killing people. What makes me start night happy? Well, one thing that makes me happy is absolutely food. <laughs> I am Italian and I love food. <laughs> Apart from that, I love uh, sewing costumes and doing props and that's one of my favorite things in the world. And I also love buying makeup. What you have seen, guys, is just a little taste of Miss Starnake's awesome work. And if you want to see more, something I'm pretty sure you want to because I <laughs> definitely want to see more, I will leave in the comment section below her social medias so you can be aware of her future cosplays and overall support a very delightful girl. Mrs. Star Knight, there is something else would you like to add? Thank you Batsy for inviting me on your channel and for this interview. I had a lot of fun and I hope many of you will start following me and other amazing cosplayers. So if you don't know this world, please start following cosplayers because they do a great job and maybe if you still haven't please leave a like on this video if you liked it of course and start following Batsy channel because he is amazing and <laughs> you won't regret it I swear thanks to you for watching the interview bye